Hey players, this is part two of a Jordan Poole film study. You can find part one linked below. If you want the full film study that has parts one and two combined in one video, you can get it for free on my basketball training platform. Um, okay, so this next clip actually. So this right here is a crossover and we're gonna talk about how you can create space from your defender and how to handle and how to beat pressure. So right here, it's a very simple move. It's just a one-time crossover that gets him into a mid-range jump shot. But notice the keys on this crossover right here. So as he's crossing half court, notice how his body is going to start to turn and he's going to start to sell that middle drive. What a lot of players do on their crossovers is they'll just be stale. They won't have any rhythm. They won't turn their body. They won't move their head or their eyes. And they'll just stand here and do a boring crossover. Of course, the defense isn't going to jump at that. So when you're working on your crossover, you need to work on having some rhythm turning your body, turning your eyes, turning your hips, playing from high to low, low to high, you know, raising up your shoulders and then crossing over. And in this clip right here, this is one that this is the type of move you can emulate when you're working on your ball handling. Just approach a cone, approach a defender, turn your body and sell your drive as if you're going to go one way, turn your shoulders and really exaggerate the movement. You really want to feel your body move, turn that way, maybe lift your body up and then cross over. These, this is, uh, you know, it's one thing to just move the ball over, but it's really your eyes and your body movement that's going to sell the crossover. And then the other thing is, if you struggle against handling pressure and that defender is always pressuring you and they're stealing the ball, they're taking you out of your rhythm, they're making you uh, or they're causing you to have turnovers, one thing you need to be able to do is play in space. Look how far out the defender is from Jordan Poole right here. If your defender is able to close that gap on you, they're going to pressure you, and then that's going to eliminate your vision. It's going to speed you up. It's going to take you out of your offense. It's going to make you dribble off your knee, whatever. So great ball handlers are able to create that space and play in that space. And now that that defender is playing off of you, now you've got more space and more comfort to see the floor and do whatever move you need to do. So that is the crossover right there. Now this next clip is a simple pull up, but I wanna make a point right here, is a lot of players, and this is how you do a great pull up. A lot of players, when they're working on their pull ups, they'll just take one dribble, one long step, eyes at the rim the whole time, they'll step in and shoot it. They don't sell the drive at all. So when you're working on your pull ups, you need to add into your training where you're really selling that drive. Because look at Jordan Poole right here. Before he's going into that pull-up, he's selling the drive. And look what the bigs defender's doing. The bigs defender is retreating. If you're in a situation where you're attacking downhill and your defender is in a position like this where they're going backwards and they're retreating towards the rim, that's awesome because it shows you're putting pressure on the defense. But it's also showing you that if you can immediately pull up while that defender is retreating, you pull up right there you're gonna have space, because look how much space he has right there. And you're gonna hopefully knock that down. But what you need to work on on these pull-ups is getting your body in a driving position. Your shoulders are low, you're leaning forward, you're really putting pressure on the defense, you're driving hard towards the rim, and then at that last second, you're able to rise your body up and go into that jump shot. So all these, things, all these clips have in common, selling, using your body, using your shoulders, using your hips, playing from low to high, and all these sorts of fundamentals that go across skills. Now this is, y'all need to go on my training platform and make a free account. There's no um, credit card required, so you can get a lot of free stuff on there, make an account, and then immediately delete your account without paying. I don't care. Um, you can go on there and get free stuff. So this is just talking about, I'm gonna show you my training platform. This is just the free version on the left and then the paid version on the right. But for the shooting in this clip, this slide just describes the shooting. There's 66 advanced drills and hours of shooting teaching. And then what the benefits for you are is you're going to learn how to build your shot the right way and not waste reps. Because the number one problem players have when they're working on their jump shot is they just get hundreds and hundreds and thousands and thousands of shots up with terrible form. And if you're just repeating those bad habits, bad techniques, you're just becoming a permanently bad or permanently mediocre shooter. You don't want to do that. And then if you go on this platform, consume all this content, you're going to become your team's knockdown shooter and you will see your confidence grow because when you have the right technique and form, you put in the reps, you start to see the ball go through the rim more, you're going to be more confident and you're going to play better in games. So these slides right here, this is only describing the shooting part of the platform. I also have ball handling, finishing, passing, ball screens, you name it, it's on there. Check it out. Make a free account. 
Now this next clip is an assist where he's going to drive into the paint. He's going to draw two defenders in the paint, dump off for a dunk. So if you are a good scorer, you're a good two, three level scorer, and you can get to the rim and make plays at the rim, this is a good sign. Or this is a sign that you are a good scorer. When you are forcing the rim protectors to rotate over and contest your shot. Because what that's going to do, or what that shows is, if you can beat your defender off the dribble, that's going to force help to rotate over. And then when you have that help defender rotate over, and you're going to get two players guarding you, then that means your big is going to be wide open at the rim. So you need to be thinking, if you can break down your defender off the dribble, force that rim protector, force that rim defender to rotate over, you've got to be able to make that drop-off pass to your big so they can finish with a layup or a dunk. Now, this is an action that the Warriors have made famous. It's a split action, basically. And what split action is, is when you have, you're going to have a screener right here who feeds the post, and then after this post feed, the screener is going to screen on the perimeter for a shooter. A lot of teams run this. The Warriors are most known for it because of Steph Curry, Clay Thompson, these guys. But this is a great action you can use because it's difficult to guard because once the ball goes in the post right here, most perimeter defenders are then taught to jump halfway to the ball and see both the post offensive player and the perimeter offensive player. But if you're having to see both of those things and there's a screen on the perimeter at the same time and it's a good screen that's set, it's usually going to be open in a three-point shot. Obviously, it's contested here. You're talking about pro basketball, but this is a great action you can add um, into your offense to help you get more points. Now, this one right here, another back to the jab, and just jabs are so underrated because they're not flashy, but they're super effective. Just watch this very simple jab right here. This very simple jab makes the defender just step to the left for just a second and then that's just enough time, just enough space to create an advantage going into this dribble pull-up. So you need to be working on your jabs. That's it for this Jordan Poole film study. You want to make a free training account on my training platform. It is linked below. There's no card required. You can go on there and get free PDF workouts, free shooting drills, ball handling drills, finishing drills. There's a lot of free content on there. There is a paid version that if you're a serious basketball player and you really want to improve your IQ, learn the best drills, and improve your game to become an effective player, that's called the Elite Experience that you can check it out on there as well. But thank you for watching this video. Hope it helped. Let's keep getting better.